Hi everyone, so this is the first lesson of the second pack of kinematics. Um, I'm thinking we'll probably do it. With, it's going to be three lessons. So this stuff will be covered in lesson one, this lesson two, this lesson three. Right, let's have a go. So uniform acceleration, or SUVAX. Hopefully you come across them in, um, in science and physics at school. Um, we're choosing the velocity time graph, and we actually did this at the start of the previous pack. So if I look at like the gradient, it's V minus U over T. So I've got my acceleration is V minus U over T. I can multiply through by T. And then I can take the u over. So that gives me v equals u plus a t as one of my suvacs. And that just comes from the gradient because the change in velocity over time is acceleration. Now if I look at the if you look at the area under the curve, I've got like a little trapezium. So it goes u up here. V up here, T going across. Now the area under the curve is the displacement, and I call that S. So I've just got S equals the average of the parallel sides times by time. Okay, next. Right then. So it says now if I put one into two, so I've got V equals U plus AT, I've got S equals a half U plus V times T. So if I put that U plus AT there, I get S is a half U plus U plus AT all times T. So I've got S is uh, half 2U plus AT times T. So if I do 2 times U, 2U is just U, times T is going to be UT. A half times AT times T will be a half a t squared. There. So then it says if we rearrange u, uh, rearrange equation 1, which is v minus u plus a t, to make u the subject, so v minus a t is u, and substitute it into s, I'm kind of doing the opposite, no answer. So I'm going to replace the U with that. So I get S is a half V minus AT plus V times T. So S is a half 2V minus AT times T. I've got a half times 2V is V times by T is VT. And I've got minus a half times 80 times t, a half at squared. So s is vt minus a half at squared. So s is, you mentioned it up in the page, I think it says, s is a displacement, u is the initial velocity, v is the final velocity, t is the time taken, a is acceleration. So it says if we rearrange 1 to make t the subject, so v minus u over a, done that, and substitute into 2, so I'm putting v minus u over a there, the s is a half u plus v times by v minus u over 
over a. Yeah. If I multiply through by 2a, it gets rid of the 2a on the bottom. So I've got 2as is u plus b, v minus u. Now if you imagine it wasn't u plus b, if it was v plus u, hang on, you can leave that as it is if you want, but if you imagine it was v plus u, just changing it around, then I've got the difference of two squares, but if you expand the brackets, you get the same, it's just a v squared minus u squared. So then if I take the u squared over, what I end up with is v squared, is u squared, plus 2as. And then on my five, sue that equation. Now the givens here, um, the only reason we've kind of derived them is in one of the early papers or the specimen paper, it kind of derived it and asked where the error was. So it's good to see them. Uh, but we're just going to, the main, main thing for us is just using them. Okay. Now what is important is it's all to do with constant acceleration. As an example, I'm going to hang on, I'm quite sure where my arrow's there, to be honest. Right, I'm going to stop it there and we'll do another minute.